Let T be a linear operator on R cube defined by T x y z equal to 3 x minus 3 y x minus y and last one end is 2 x plus y plus z then the rank and nullity of T are respectively four options associated this problem is given to us and we have to find rank nullity of this linear transformation as T expression is given or linear transformation is given by this structure 3x minus 3y comma x minus y 2x plus y plus z this is the formula of linear transformation is given if you focus on this one 3x minus 3y and uh, this is x minus y so you can say these are multiple of each other so we can say that uh, one is depending on other so there are two independent entry in this uh, or triplet so if we know one of them then other we can easily known so rank of this uh, transformation is equal to 2 and by rank nullity theorem i can say nullity of this linear transformation is 1 because of two independent choice this is very convenient method to find the rank of this linear transformation and somehow this is easy one to discard options so you can say option c is true but sometimes it is not convenient to find rank and nullity using this method so what we can do in different case so second method is find matrix representation of any linear transformation and then row read, apply elementary row operation and try to find rank of the matrix so first uh, to find uh, matrix representation of any linear transformation we need a basis so e1 e2 e3 these are standard order basis for r cube and uh, this is for domain basis so we need to find image of each element and need to write linear combination of codomain basis so it will be 3 1 2 and need to write uh, basis in terms of linear combination of basis of codomain so basis of codomain and uh, domain is same so this will be 3 e1 plus e2 plus 2 times e3 now need to write uh, t e2 t e2 will be minus 3 minus 1 and last one is 1 and uh, t of e3 is equal to 0 0 1 so we have three linear combination of this uh, basis element so i can write uh, matrix representation with respect to this ordered basis so if i write uh, elements of linear combination or coefficient of linear combination uh, along column wise so 3 1 2 and uh, second column will be minus 3 minus 1 1 and last uh, column will be this now you can see we need to interchange uh, r1 and r2 so that uh, i can easily put uh, one as a non-zero pivot element at unit place so it is equal to so this is equivalent to one minus one one minus one zero and this is three minus three zero and third row is same as so this is my equivalent matrix whenever i apply r1 to r r1 to r2 now put uh, two elementary row operation together this is r2 now we are changing r2 as r2 minus 3 r1 and r3 as r3 minus 2 r1 using these two elementary row operation we will have 1 0 0 minus 1 0 0 minus 1 0 3 and the last column will be 0 0 1 so this is equivalent uh, matrix of this one and uh, we can say that this is zero matrix so i can delete this uh, row and we have only two non-zero rows so rank is 
number of non zero rows in matrix representation so rank of this linear transformation is 2 and using rank nullity theorem i can write nullity of this linear transformation is 1 and uh, rank nullity th nullity theorem says rank plus nullity is equal to number of variable now this is second method and the uh, one one is third method which is sometimes uh, convenient to find rank or rank and nullity of any linear transformation so because of uh, nullity nullity is the dimension of the null space so in terms of nullity i can find rank also means using nullity concept so if any element uh, x y z suppose this is an element of uh, linear transformation which is belonging to null space of t so using the definition of uh, null space i can write t of this element x y z is equal to 0 and uh, by the structure of t i can write 3 x minus 3 y x comma x minus y equal to, comma 2 x plus y plus z is equal to 0 vector on comparing these uh, to these two triplet we have 3x minus 3y equal to 0 x minus y equal to 0 and last one is 2x plus y plus z equals to 0 now try to set up matrix representation of this or try to find uh, try to write try to right coefficient matrix of this system so coefficient matrix will be 3 minus 3 0 0 sorry 1 minus 1 0 and the last row is 2 1 1 this is coincident uh, this uh, matrix or coefficient matrix is same as as matrix we obtained in second method so after applying elementary row operation the equivalent matrix will be 1 0 0 minus 1 0 3 and last one will be 0 0 1 so you can say that this is a free variable so number of free variable is a nullity of this so nullity of this uh, transformation is 1 and using rank nullity, nullity theorem we can easily tell about uh, rank so if many times uh, we have to ask a question what is the linearly independent vector of the null space and uh, linearly independent vector in null space means indirectly he is asking or she is asking the basis element because of basis elements are linearly independent as uh, n, uh, x3 is a free variable so using this uh, r2 sorry r3 i can write 3x2 plus uh, x3 equal to 0 equal to 0 using this one using this one x2 equal to minus 1 upon 3 x3 and uh, using r1 means uh, row first uh, i can write x1 minus x2 equal to 0 it means that x1 equal to x2 if x1 x2 x3 are constituent of any vector so x1 x2 and x3 are constituent of any vector so i can write x3 and x2 is minus 1 upon 3 x3 and the x1 is same as x2 so it will be minus 1 upon 3 x3 if there is any mistake you can easily understand and make a correction so if i took x3 as a con constant so remaining vector will be minus 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 3 and 1 so this vector is linearly independent vector and this is constant so linearly independent vector in basis is only one means uh, or, and this is the basis element of null space so nullity of this linear transformation is one so there are many methods to find rank and nullity but uh, sometimes we need to predict which one method is convenient and try to solve answer in within second so as you can see in first method we can easily tell about uh, rank and nullity of this transformation and sometimes it is the convenient way